Hi, in this final video session on statistical infrequency, we'll have a look at some exam style questions and put your knowledge to the test. Let's take a look at your A1 scales first, read the question on the screen and use your previous learning to form a response. To help, here are some tips for preparing a good answer, or you may use these for self and peer assessment. So for two marks, your answer needs to be accurate, concise, and apply to abnormal behaviour, and it's this last point that is crucial. Examiners are not going to give marks for general answers. What they're looking for is for you to be able to keep focused on the topic and the question at hand. So pause the video for two minutes while you write your answer, bearing in mind the marking tips. Okay, so hopefully your answer resembles the one on the screen. And this answer will earn two marks by giving a definition, but also referring to abnormal behaviour. So we've satisfied everything that the examiner would expect for two marks. Let's have a look at another A1 style question. So here you can see that the command word is outlined. So we know that we are still assessing your A1. And for six marks, we're looking for your answer to be detailed, focused, accurate, of course. And for six marks, there's, there's an expectation that you are going to make a real effort to use some appropriate terminology. So think about how you would structure your answer to this question and pause the video for five minutes while you write your response. I'm going to show you a suggested answer now, and I'm going to show you it in two halves so that you can see how to reach the full six marks that are up for grabs. So firstly, we've got some general A01 details. Whilst this is a good response so far, it's probably not quite enough to reach the six marks. So for safety, what I'm going to suggest is that we add a little bit more detail. Now there's probably just slightly more than you would need to write for six marks, but we want to err on the side of caution. So where we can elaborate, we should. So this answer would gain six out of six. Let's move to a question that targets your AO2 application skills now. So if we have a look at the question, a recent news article claims that only 1% of the general population are diagnosed with schizophrenia and that some people display symptoms that people do not normally do, such as hearing voices or speaking incoherently. Explain what is meant by statistical infrequency. Refer to the news article in your answer. And this is where the four marks. So use the marking tips that are on the screen. Read them carefully. And then pause the video for a few minutes while you write your response. OK, hopefully you were able to write an answer, but let's take a look at a suggested answer. So this would have full marks. It's concise. It clearly does both parts of the question with an explanation of statistical infrequency and a reference to the news article. And hopefully you picked up on the 1% of the general population that are diagnosed with schizophrenia and used that as your hook so that you can make a good application to the scenario and demonstrate your AO2 skills to the examiner. Let's try that again with another AO2 example. Read the question carefully, take note of the marking tips and then pause the video for five minutes to give you time to formulate your answer. So for this task, have a read of the three answers on the screen and see if you can identify which one would be our great answer and which one would be our worst answer. Pause here for a few minutes while you give yourself enough time to have a think and to make some decisions. So unfortunately, answer three would earn zero out of three. And that's because hopefully you spotted Josh is not the right answer to choose. And even though he does talk about electric shocks, it's not in the right context. Answer number one also scores zero out of three. And you should note here that uh, the first part of the question hasn't been answered. And then the rest of it that follows, even though we know that it, it, in actual fact that it's true, it doesn't make any reference to the conversation and not picking up any marks for that. So that leaves answer two, and this is going to score three out of three. And we can see the way that this is broken down. So the first part ends one mark, spotting that Katie was right. 
The second part is going to earn the second mark. So this is because she highlights that 65% of people in the study delivered the electric shocks and 65% is a majority number. Just for safety, a bit more elaboration, we're going to follow on with this means that the act of delivering the shocks was not rare and therefore not statistically infrequent. Another task for you now. So read the essay question and choose which points would belong to each part of the essay response. So of the nine terms that are in gold, some of those belong to our AO1 part of an essay and some belong to our AO3 part of evaluation. Pause the video while you read the question and try and see if you can pull out which belong to AO1 and which belong to AO3. So hopefully you got these right. Let's take a look. All of the points in the AO1 box are our descriptive information. And the points in the AO3 box, well, they would be our evaluation, assuming that each of them was developed with one of our writing frames, the double whopper burger, for example.